have an extended build up to your first game back in charge. How have you found the last two weeks? Um, very enjoyable. I mean, getting back to where I want to be on the grass with the boys, giving them that um, that impetus of um, what we're looking to do going forward, where we want to be at, and just creating a positive environment. I think. You touched on it there, but what have been the main areas to look on as we look ahead to this weekend? Um, I think it's just just them same messages that we've been hitting on. I think it, when we're at home, it's about us. When we go away from home, we got to respect the opponent and. That's pretty much it. I'd imagine that some t sometimes that when you go away at Stocky, you can't you can't be like going three up against day three if they got three at the back. You got to respect it more, block in. I think that that can be something we can work on going forward. But I think this weekend is going to be a massive of trying to get on the front foot and be positive and get the fans like involved in the game again. You spoke previously about simplifying things. So how key an area is that in delivering positive results? Massively, I think for our players the. The simplistic points that you can get across is is massive. I think if you if you've got some something tough and you can you can you can minimize minimize the words or simplify the message. Players take that on board. I know that's how how I would prefer it as well. We'll move off to a bit of a different topic. Of course, we are getting to the business end of the transfer window. So, what can you tell us about the business plan and what the steps are for the remaining days? Yeah, I think um, it's been a positive positive spoke to a couple of players been positive um hopefully starting next week we can get one or two in i think that one one's very close i think so which will be a very good signing and the other one who i spoke to will also be very very good for this level hopefully exciting thing for fans as we look towards the end of this window yeah listen we, we we've still got a very decent squad i think we're, we've just been letting ourselves down i think performance levels haven't been where where we want to be at as a club and obviously going forward I think they're, they're going to have to lift to another level if we want to get to where we want to get to. You touched on it there but how important is that sort of changing the mindset and reminding these players that they are good players and you know they can do well at this level? It's massive I think it's it, it's the thing is you can you can make all the excuses up you want in the world but if you're not looking for solutions to to rectify that it's you're just wasting your time you you'll go past your career will be finished you go to the pub with your mates, tell all the stories, and then you think, well, I actually wasted that time. If we touch on some of the players that have obviously left, obviously Wardy, Kins and Romeo have left the club, so what can you tell me about the decision there to let them move on? Um, I think the Kins one is more of a humane decision, to be honest. It was one of them where it was closer to his family home. He probably wasn't going to be in the starting eleven a lot of the time, so it wasn't really wasn't really a hard decision. It was one that I thought was was, was better for the club going forward. Just on Wardy and Hutz? Uh, Romeo, got a decent fee for Romeo. I think he was going into the last six months of his deal. Positive. Um, Wardy, I think we signed. I think he had. He probably had something where he, I think it was in his contract that he could whatever. I don't actually know because I wasn't involved in the deal. But listen, he's second choice goalie. It's not going to be a massive loss for you. So we got a fee for Romeo. Positive. Already left, second choice keeper. It is what it is. Of course, hopefully some incomings very soon. Very soon, hopefully. Hopefully in the next couple of days we'll have well, Friday, sorry. Hopefully Monday. Hopefully Monday. Yeah. We look at the players that are here. What what can you tell us about the players returning from injury for this weekend? None. <laughs> so in terms of Tariq, Reese and who else? Clayton. Hopefully more news on them soon. Yes. Um Tariq closest out of that three I'd, if I'm being honest he's um, yeah he's hopefully he'll hopefully join in training in the next week or two um, Tom's a bit of a longer term which is frustrating for him he's obviously had one of them seasons and Reese Devine who, who last time he was in the team done really well unfortunately with injuries this year but I'm looking forward to getting them back they're good lads Looking at Bradford of course they are in a club in a similar situation to us so what sort of test do you expect from them? Listen, I think the the boat teams are just going to be scrapping for the win. I think we've got to stick to our plan of where we where we know we can hurt them, and I'd imagine they'll be trying to play to their strengths and trying to hurt us. That's it's a it's a chess game to see. It's kind of an invasion game to see see who can take over. Really, that's the thing. You've got you've got to put your stamp on it, and they've got to try and put their stamp on it on it as well. So I'm really positive, to be honest. Really positive. Just finally, how important is it for us to be back at home for your first game and how key will the back end of our home support be? 
yeah, listen, the fans the fans are quality here. I know they're all very, very, very frustrated with results that have been. I think when results are so poor, it it just puts the t- the the microscope on everything, and then everybody starts looking at why we're we not doing this, why we're we not doing that. It just literally flips everything upside down, which is not great. But we've got to be the ones to flip it on a positive now, and let's take the club back up the league. Thank <laughs> you.